Good afternoon. Uh oh, good afternoon. Y'all know I'm on one talking about good afternoon. It is 11 32 at night. Well, praise God. Maybe it's good afternoon in the spirit. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, I pray that you are having a blessed day. Well, you see my title, okay? You see my title here. And basically, what I am saying is that men, women, it doesn't matter if you're a man, a woman of God, or not. Stop playing with people's emotions. If you really don't want them, great because their husband or wife is waiting and frankly you are in the way ma'am and sir and i'm just tired of y'all i'm watching it i've i've experienced it my friends have experienced it family friends enemies frenemies y'all need to stop playing with people you know and, and y'all think it's cute but it's not because what comes around goes around i'm just telling y'all what i see i see people getting misused abused confused it is not of god and you wonder why you ain't got no good look on your job and everywhere else because of what you're doing in your private life it seeps over because what the seeds that you sow and y'all need to understand this they must come back and the sad part is you don't know what area they're coming back so you thinking oh i'm just i'm having a hard time on the job because it is no what have you done in your private life and public life because whatever decisions you make i promise you they will affect every area of your life stop playing with people it is not fair it is not of god and truth be told let's get to the real thing if you don't want them, let them be free so their real husband, their real wife, come on somebody, hallelujah, can come and be with them. You all in the way. You blocking. You blocking. Yes, what you're doing, you blocking. Because if you don't really want someone, then that means that you are running in deception. That means you're playing the game. And then the sad part is when it comes back at you, then you want to get on Facebook and you want to cry. You want to get mad. Some of y'all want to shoot people. I said that. Yes, I did. Because y'all can't handle y'all emotions. Stop doing that to people. If you want to have a good life, then watch the seeds that you sow. Stop being nasty. Yeah, I'm saying it like I am. Some of y'all just plain nasty. Just because somebody fine don't mean they're yours. Oh, I'm saying it tonight. I don't care who get mad. It's the truth. This is how you're supposed to do it. When you meet someone, you ask God. And God will tell you. If that's not, then don't play with that person. It's not fair to them. It's not fair to their husband or wife that's waiting on them. Yeah, I say it how I say it. And then now you can hurt somebody. And then hold on. <laughs> There's a whole lot of the stuff to this. Women, stop being so desperate. You, you know, uh, Bishop Ernestine Ream said years ago, a breath in breaches. Y'all take anything. And men too. Just because they fine or whatever. Y'all would take care of somebody. Oh, I'm going in tonight. Let me tell you how you're supposed to do that. You're supposed to be comfortable by yourself, knowing you are whole, knowing that you are enough, knowing that you are loved. I don't need you to make me complete. The devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. You're supposed to be complete by yourself in God and who you are as a person. Some of y'all so desperate is that y'all are, y'all are take anything. Y'all are settle for anything. And to be honest with you, the person could be dogging you and y'all be like, please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. You didn't got so comfortable in getting dogged. Yeah, I said how I said it and vice versa. Come on now. You got to love yourself. Some of you, that's your fault. Because you are letting that man or that woman do anything to you. And then you want to cry to your family and friends. Oh, look what they doing me. Why did you allow it? I'm just being honest. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's just the truth. It's just the truth. And I'm tired of it. I watch it. I have waned through it. I promised myself I would never go through that again. I know um, Tyler Perry is a man. But when I guess when he put on that dress and he said this, I'll be by myself with a goldfish and a puppy. I met that thing. I'm telling you I'll be by myself with a goldfish and a puppy, honey. I am not going to be sitting around wondering why are you there and I'm miserable. I'm just being real. It's too much people unhappy. Even in marriages. You didn't married into the Johnson family. Now you got a Richardson demon. A Johnson demon. Oh, come on, somebody. Yes, I'm talking T.D. Jake Spellbinder. Y'all wonder what's going on. And then your children come up. And then now they got that spirit on them. Y'all better slow your roll. Stop being lustful. Stop moving too fast. Y'all move too fast. And some of y'all just want to play. Y'all some baby toddlers. That's right. You got baby toddlers and men and you got baby toddlers and women. Y'all ain't never grew up just a straight up baby toddler. That's right. Grown toddler. Yeah, uh-huh. I said it like I said it. 
And I just pray in the name of Jesus that some of you love you. Love you. Learn to love you. And if that person can't treat you how you treat you, and hopefully you're treating yourself good, then guess what? Let them walk, honey. Let them walk. Because then God can prepare you for your husband or your wife. Come on, somebody. Y'all need to stay playing house. Playing house when ain't nobody, no man or no woman. And let me tell y'all something. Oh, I'm about to hit them in the head tonight. Having sex do not make you a man or a woman. Huh? <laughs> a baby toddler having sex. That's what you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Y'all better quit playing. And God is not pleased because now you didn't hurt somebody. And now they God got to process them all over to get them prepared for their spouse now. I'm just being honest. So I pray that you are just, you know, you wait, wait on God, wait on God, wait on God. I know living lonely is hard. Don't get it twisted. I understand. I'm not trying to bash anyone. It's just time for y'all to stop, stop, stop playing games. It is, this life is not a game. You don't get to play with people's feelings. If you know, that's one thing I stopped doing a long time ago. If I'm not interested, I'm not interested. I'm not going to play with that person. I'm not going to use that person. Oh, I'm going in for their money, honey, and fun. Y'all need to stop doing that to people. Y'all don't be wanting those men and y'all use those men for money and vice versa. Women, women, men, y'all use women. If they got a good job, y'all just using people. And then hold on. When your turn come and then you looking stupid. Yeah, I said how I said it. It is time for us to... Come on now. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Just, just, just treat people how you want to be treated. And hopefully you have enough sense to want to be treated good. Because to be honest with you, sometimes when people are abusing you, you get comfortable in being uncomfortable. I just said something. God is not the author of confusion. And that's another thing. God ain't going to never send you nobody else's husband. Stop playing, stop playing, stop playing. And even afterward, they have to be divorced, living apart, have papers. Come on, somebody. Talking about, well, you know, he just left to and You just as silly. Because if you think he going to just leave his wife like that, then you just as The Bible says silly women. Silly women. You silly. And men too. Y'all better stop doing all that stuff. I'm telling you what God said. Y'all think I'm just tripping. I'm watching a lot of stuff and God is not pleased. And then you wonder why you lose your job or this happened or that happened. Because guess what? The decision you made over there, now God is paying you over here. You don't get to decide where God punishes that. Oh, I just said something. God, God gets to decide. Because let me tell you something. You don't get away with anything in this life. You might be delayed your punishment, but honey, you don't get away with anything. Oh, I'm just being honest with y'all. So I pray that y'all understand where I'm coming from. Slow your roll. Wait on God. Wait on God. When you find out that man or that woman is full of it, guess what? Bye. See you. Wouldn't want to be you. God bless you. You don't have to get on Facebook. You don't have to talk ugly to people. Just let people go. God bless you. I wish you the best. That's how you do that. But stop using people. Stop playing with people's emotions. Stop playing with their feelings. And guess what? That's some of that's y'all fault. We all know when we not want it. You know when somebody don't want you, they're not going to make time for you. Then y'all know. Everybody no game. Everybody no game. I don't care. Even little kids no game. We all know when we're not wanted. Guess what? Suck it up. God, that's not the one for me. God, give me the strength to hold out. Don't let me get offended because they don't want me. I just said something. Some of y'all get mad if somebody don't want you. You know what I used to always say? And I'm not kidding. When people, you know, didn't like me, I said, okay, fine. Bye. Bye. And they said, what you mean? I said, because you're in the way. You're in the way of my husband that's coming. And then some of you want a husband and a wife and you're not prepared. Because if you're not happy by yourself, if you think that man or woman going to make you happy, you are, you are mistaken. Oh, my God. And then some of you don't want to get married just to have sex. Oh, Lord, they got me going in. I'm just being honest. Y'all need to stop all that. Have you ever understood what marriage is about? And then y'all get mad at people so fast. Will you be able to handle the man? Because everybody has flaws. You will not find a perfect man or a perfect woman. Let me tell you how relationships go. You have to decide what you're willing to put up with. Because everybody has flaws. Am I going to deal with this demon? Because I promise you, if I don't deal with this demon, it's going to be another. Everybody has stuff. Everybody has flaws. You're not going to find anybody perfect. 
And then the sad part is the representative. Oh, I'm, I'm about to hit, hit y'all in the head. You meet the representative the first year anyway. You know how people be playing that role and then all of a sudden you start looking and you be like, wait a minute, wait a minute, what's up? Wait a minute, is this who you are? Pastor Godot used to always tell me that when I was in California, and I ain't lying. I really didn't believe him. He, and then he, he preached it again. He said, I'm telling y'all, be with somebody about a year. Get to know them and watch the real them come up. Because the representative, you know people can fake for more than a year? They can fake. So that's that's why you need wisdom and discernment. I asked God, God, show me their spirit. Because people will lie straight in your face. Don't act like y'all don't know that. You have to ask God for wisdom and discernment like never before. And hold on, I'm going in tonight. You cannot be so lustful to where they so fine, they blow your mind. Yeah, I say the whole song. I mean, you can't get past their lies because you, oh, he's so fine. And it's just silly women. And, and men, oh, she's so fine. She got a big butt. Oh, I'm going in. I, ain't, I don't care because I'm so tired of y'all. I'm so tired of y'all. Just messing up other people's life because you ain't right. Stop that. That is not of God. And God going to get you. And you wonder why. Slow your roll. Pray. And if it's for you, it's for you. What is for you is for you. Who is for you is for you. You ain't got to trick. You ain't got to do nothing. Oh, I just said something. Some of y'all be manip manipulating. Some of y'all do the fake and bake. You know you don't know how to cook. You didn't wing somewhere and brought some food and scrape it in the thing. And then he find out you can't cook. And now you mad because he don't want you because you didn't did the fake and bake. I'm just being real with y'all. Stop faking with people and then some of y'all lose people because y'all being fake. Look, I, I, I'm look. you got to be honest with people. Look, I'm not perfect. I have my flaws. You know, you have to be real. If you want real, you got to be real. Everybody say, I'm real, I'm real. No, you're not. No, you're not. So I pray in the name of Jesus that you cipher out what I'm really saying here tonight because you're hurting people and hurt people hurt people. Stop doing that. And what are you really looking for? And I'm going to tell you right now, if you fall in love with a person that is lustful, you're going to have some problems. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm schooling y'all tonight. If you fall in love with somebody lustful, a liar, a cheat, you're going to have some problems. Because men, y'all be trying to change women. And women, y'all be trying to change men. If, they, if you met them like that, and you think that you're so good that you're going to change them, my God, my God, you better <laughs> you better pray and ask God to show you that spirit. Hallelujah. You can't change no lust, bus, lust bucket. If he was lusting when you met him and when you married him, what you think he going to do afterwards? And then y'all be like, well, I thought he would change. I thought she would change. Are you serious? And then some of you disobey God. God tell you, no, don't marry that man. I'm going to marry him. Okay, all right. And you get what you get, vice versa. I just pray y'all understand. Oh, Lord, child, y'all better stop. Get it together. Take your time. Have self-control. Stop being lustful. Everything look good and good. Everything that glitter ain't gold. All right? So God bless you. God keep you. And I'm going to tell y'all, I practice what I preach. I practice what I preach. I don't like people playing with me. You know, I've had my, my likes, and when I see they start acting crazy, <laughs> I'm gone. I'm gone. I'll be disappointed. I'll be hurt. I ain't going to lie, but I'm gone. I'm gone. I don't have time for that. You're going to mess with my mind. Throw me off. Oh, I just said something. Don't you know a distraction? Sometimes you don't know it's a distraction to finish distracting you, and then now you all discombobulated. You can't even do what you're supposed to be doing because you, your feelings hurt. You're all in your feelings, like they say. But if you pray, God will send you the right one that would not mess with your mind or mess with your feelings. Because you know what? This is how I like to pray. If that man or woman love God first, and that's the key, then they're going to know how to love you. But if you want to be all that in a bag of chips, then that means that when you are not all that in a bag of chips, he's going to leave you or she's going to leave you. Because they loved you first before they loved God. God will teach a person how to love you, how to respect you. How, oh, come on, somebody. Somebody understanding what I'm saying tonight. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers, for that is truly who we are. God bless.